through the trees, in the saddle rocks between the volcanic mountains, we caught sight of what seemed like human beings and gigantic apes. At last we had penetrated into the heart of the Ngagi country, where no white man had ever been before. Everywhere there were strange sounds, mysterious rustling of the underbrush, chattering that seemed both human and animal. We were soon to be thrilled by what met our gaze. A company of women, unclothed, apparently living like animals, shy as reed bucks and fleet as antelope. Could these tales be true? Tales we had regarded as mere legends of a native tribe, lowest of all in the scale of humanity. Stories of their strange traffic with the great apes, creatures scarcely less intelligent than themselves. In the background, you will see a gigantic Ngagi accompanying the women. One had a child hugged to her breast, a strange-looking child, seemingly more ape than human. Dimly like figures from a nightmare, they stole through the forest while we watched, hardly daring to breathe. The many types of great apes gathered in this weird place suggested that this might be the veritable cradle of humanity. The male gorilla we found builds his nest at the foot of a tree, sending his family into the branches for greater security against the ravening jungle leopards, which are especially fond of ape meat. Watch and photograph. Into the dense underbrush we penetrated, expecting at any moment that the gorilla or some of his companions would pounce upon us.
wanted this giant specimen alive if possible. He resented our intentions, attentions rather. We followed him to his cave. At last the animal vanished into the cleft of the mountain and we proceeded to smoke him out. Three great apes made for the brush. time they eluded us, but we soon found them in the treetops. Overcome by the fumes, the big in gaggy was easily netted. But holding him was another matter. His strength was appalling. He threw our boys around like so many ten pins. Maddened by our pursuit, he charged us. upsetting the camera and almost destroying the amazing film record we had obtained. 